said thank you. Uh, what are we doing? Almost we're, we're, we're proving that Jesus is a Muslim. Okay. Well, I just wanted to stop by and say I'm Muslim. But God bless you, brother. You have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right. Please, guys, no Christians. How are we doing, brother? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm very good. If I prove Jesus is Muslim, would you transfer that money into my account straight away? Straight away, man. Whether you use Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, whatever, PayPal, whatever you use, it'll be yours. Okay. Okay, brother. I'll prove it to you. You can keep the money to yourself as well, yeah? It's my treat. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Brother, Jesus is Muslim. We're all Muslim. It's simple. Very simple. He's a messenger. He was Muslim. Khalas. Job done. Keep the cash and smile. <laughs> <laughs> How simple is that? <laughs> You're not a Muslim. Why are you trolling me? No, no. I, I, I am Muslim. <laughs> but believe me, we are born as Muslim. And then we can choose. So I'm an ex-Muslim? No, there's no such an ex-Muslim. It's a certain age. When you get to that age, you can choose. You know, you want to be Christians. You want to believe in nothing. But you but said, believe me, you said we're Muslim born. Is. You said we're born Muslim, right? Everyone is born yep. a Muslim, and then they get to a certain age and they choose to either stay a Muslim or leave being a Muslim. You know, like uh, if a kid's so, like so, five so I'm, a, I'm, I'm an ex-Muslim. No, this is not such a thing as ex-Muslim. Yes, I was you know, Muslim when I was born. Your friend, yes. I'm confused. You can use that, but in religion, you can't use eggs. There's not such a thing as eggs. Yeah, I, I, I'm an ex-Muslim. I used to be a Muslim when I was born, and then 0.2 seconds later, I left Islam. No, 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 brother. Look, if you got a woman, and she's your ex, right? We say, this is ex, I left her. You can use that, but for religion, there's not such a thing as eggs. Okay. So, how is Jesus a Muslim? It's simple. He's Muslim. I've told you. Believe it. Believe me. Just believe me. Okay, I believe you. Thank you very much. And you can keep the money to yourself, bro. I think we hit. Uh, I think we hit the timing of the stream where the trolls come in. <laughs> uh, what's up? Do you remember me, bro? If we talk some more, I might. How are you? Well, so you don't remember me. Not, not off the bat. Okay. How are you though? You good? Yeah. You, you still a Muslim? Nope. You used to be a Muslim and you're not Muslim anymore. Nope. What happened? <laughs> he left. <laughs> What is going on? How you doing, brother? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I was watching you soon, brother. You seem like a very nice guy. I'm, right a, ch I'm a chill dude. I'm a chill dude. I try my best. But yeah, I am a Muslim. Okay. Welcome to the platform, man. Welcome to the platform. Got $2,200 waiting, man. Waiting to be given out. I mean, I honestly came here... To to discuss it and my opinions of it because mm -hmm. i know i'm not going to prove it to you i know you're not going to believe uh that he's muslim by the time i get off this and i'm not really here for money either if but, so if you see. give me some good evidence man I, i'm telling you guys if you guys give me some good evidence to believe jesus is a muslim i have no choice but to submit to it no choice mm. you're right you're right i don't think i can give you some like solid evidence like that you can't Cause you know, if so, if anyone in this world had some piece of evidence that can convert someone like that, I feel like everyone would be that religion. But let me explain why I think he's Muslim. Okay. So, well, actually, right off the bat, I actually don't think he's Muslim, or he wasn't Muslim at the time. Cause you know, to be Muslim, you have to say I should do la ilaha illallah, or I should do Muhammad Rasulullah. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And uh, I think I think he worshiped I should worship my God though. Uh, but so this is how it works. My God, he sent down a bunch of prophets. 
And uh, in order to go to heaven, you have to follow what they said and uh, if, uh, like submit to God and follow what they said, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, if you go by that definition, then, uh, you know, you could say he's Muslim, but, you know, he was Islam. Muslims weren't really a thing by then. Okay, so let's do that. Um, proving that Jesus believed and submitted to the God that you believe in, right? The God that's described in, in Islam in the Quran and the Sunnah. That's what we need to see, that Jesus actually believed and submitted to that concept of God. And then, mm. if we can show that, then I guess then technically we can say that he was a Muslim, even though that, you uh, know, just by, the, by that, if we're going by that meaning. Well, uh, what do Christians think is the first miracle he performed? Uh, turning water into wine. That's the first, at what age? 30. And he was born to the mother uh, Mary, the Virgin Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, um, uh, uh, what the, who did people say her father was at the time? Because she would have got accused of adultery. Who her father, or who Jesus's father? Oh, yeah, yeah. Who the father was? Uh, they said Joseph. Joseph, her, her, hus was, oh, her husband. Oh, so they thought it was Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it's in Christianity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it says uh, well, that they, we, they supposed that Joseph was the father of Jesus, which obviously he yeah, was. Yeah, so uh, we believe that, uh, she, I don't think we believe that she had a husband at that time when she was uh, pregnant. Mm -hmm. I think uh, what happened was he, uh, uh, the miracle, his first miracle was speaking as a baby, and he was telling people, uh, that he people would accuse him of adultery. Mm -hmm. would, uh, he, would point, he would point to him. And he would say, "I have a written down." Yeah, yeah. He he vindicated he vindicated her, and he also said that he's a messenger and prophet of of uh, his Lord, right? Yeah, so, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. But how, how does this uh, so, how does this so prove that he's a Muslim? Yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know this. I know this. Well, this is the thing. Like, like I said before, I can't really prove anything to you. You know what I mean? Especially religion. So this is what I would say, okay? Um, is that I'm at, I'm attacking the claim that Jesus is a Muslim or that Jesus believed in the God of Islam. That's the claim that I'm attacking. I know that in the Quran it says that, and that's what I'm challenging, right? Because it's it's Jesus is a figure who lived 600 years before the Quran. Right. So. So that's what I'm, I'm, okay, I see the claim that the Quran says Jesus believed in the God of Islam. So the, the proof would be found in what we can find of Jesus's life and his beliefs. So when we go to the earliest sources of Jesus's life, what he believed, what he taught, what he preached, you know, how he practiced his religion, does that match Islam or not? I mean, uh, what perspective are you looking at? Because there's a lot of historical perspectives. Of, uh, I'm looking at the his historical perspective. So uh, I'm assuming you're talking about uh, you're talking about that thing where uh, people have said uh, the earliest followers of Christ. That's exactly uh, right. Would, yep, the New Testament yeah. is where uh, we could find. You, could you show me? It's in the New Testament. Yes. Oh, see, that's the thing, though. Uh, we're going off your book, though. If we go off my book, it says the exact opposite. Well, yeah, and, and, and that's and that's is this is the point. My book is not. We're not. It's not just that you know. It's the basis of our religion, but my book is the historical basis for the life of Jesus. And it's not just because I say it. Like it's little. It's literally the primary source that historians go to to know anything about Jesus. Yeah, but that's assuming that it's uh, it's not you know what the Quran said that it was being corrupted. Well, that's not. A heavy well, I would argue that the Quran doesn't say that it's corrupted, but no, oh, yeah, 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 it doesn't. It not, does not say that. It does not say that. Right. But Muslims have interpreted it because uh, this is what we believe in the Quran. It says this, and I'll give you some context before I tell you what it says in the Quran. So uh, we believe that Christians were waiting for the next prophet, right? <coughs> to defeat the stone worshipers because you know Muhammad's uh, tribe they were stone worshipers so uh they were waiting for the next prophet to come to defeat that tribe yes. all right 
Uh, I love worshippers. So, uh, when they found out well, the the prophet came from that tribe and converted those people and wasn't from a Bani Israel. This doesn't this doesn't have anything to do with what we're on. talking about. I know, but I didn't finish. They, when I found out it, it wasn't a Bani Israel lineage, uh, they went they went back and changed the uh, scriptures to, that was talking about the next prophet. But that, that thing, never uh, happened. That's, that yeah, never but ha that's what that's in the Quran. The Quran, but, uh, the, Quran the Quran never the Quran. the Quran never says that. The Quran says that uh, indeed they have uh, they 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 knew this prophet as if it was their own child, but they they changed they. It never says that they, they changed. Concealed it. The truth. Yeah, concealing, no, no, they, there you go. Conceal, the there you go. Concealing okay. and hiding, okay, that's something different than going into the text and actually distorting what the text says. The okay, but says how that. else do you, how else do you conceal the truth if the truth is written down? For example, you know I mean? for example, not 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 uh being honest with what it says, or for example, um, some Jews came to Muhammad for judgment, and Muhammad asked them, What does the Torah say? And when they brought the Torah, that one of the Jews put his hand over the scripture that gave the ruling on their issue. And so he was trying to hide what the text says. So that's another example of them concealing. I, mean, uh, I, don't, I don't think so, brother, because if you had to conceal it, you would conceal it for good. No, there's no, there's, that's impossible. You can't conceal it from good because there's, well, that's just there's there, no, no, it's, that's not, it's not interpretation. It, to conceal it for good, if you're talking about textually hiding it, textually removing it from the text. That would mean there will be, in every manuscript, they would have to collect every manuscript, every scroll from every generation from all around the world, uh, in all their places, remove the text that's there in all of these manuscripts, um, and then also put them back where they found these manuscripts without anyone noticing. Impossible. Uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't uh, like every Bible get... Uh... Collected and burnt and rewritten. Do I know what? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't every Bible like uh, at one point in time got collected and then like burned and rewritten? No, that's speaking of the Quran, not the Bible. No, I I know people say uh, that happened to that too, but I'm saying didn't that happen uh, to the that did Bible that didn't Torah? happen to the Bible that happened to the Quran. That you're mixing two different but I, know talking, I know I know the hadith I know the hadith you're talking about about the Quran. But I'm saying that happened to the Bible. Too. It never happened to the Bible. It only happened to the no, Quran. Look it up. Look it up. What do you mean look, look it up? up. You, the, you, you people had the Quran memorized. So your point is not valid. People had the Quran memorized. Yes, yeah, so too bad but, they uh, were too bad they were dying off, and so that's why they even wrote the yeah, compiled the Quran in the first place. Die off. They were dying off, not died. Okay, so that means that their memory was not reliable for them to no, keep the preservation no, no, of the Quran. The, they had the to compile that it. Still remembered it. That's they wrote it down, they wrote they wrote it down with the people that still memorized it. That's not true at all. How how did Zayd yeah, go around how does how does how does Zayd collect the Quran? Okay, but whatever I was talking about the Bible. No 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 no, no. don't don't whatever this now. How did Zayd well, how, no, how did Zayd collect the Quran? The Bible, the, huh? How did Zayd collect the Quran? Was it by memory? Yeah. What? What do you mean? Well, how did he collect it? How did he collect it? When he went out and collected the Quran so that they can compile it into one book, how did he collect it? Where did he? Where was he getting um, the Quran from? People who memorized it? I don't know from who. The answer is no. He was getting it from people who had it written down on certain parchments, certain manuscripts, and there was a few people that memorized certain verses while other people memorized others, so they all didn't have the same memory, but he had to rely heavily on manuscripts and stuff that people wrote down on bones and animal skin and rocks and all this kind of stuff that's how he collected okay, the Quran. Still had the text. okay it still had the text though so okay so if they have the text He's then if they have the text we're showing that memory was not a good method of preservation which is not even what they was really relying on they relied on other materials okay well they still have this all right the other materials were valid though it doesn't matter well, it wasn't valid enough for Uthman to burn them. Huh? It wasn't valid enough if, for Uthman to burn them. Okay, cool. If Uthman burned them, then they wasn't valid, right? Okay, okay. But I was talking... All right. Then, now, can I go back to my point? I will. I will. You I, 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 I'll, let you, I'll let you go back to the point. Just admit this. For Uthman to burn these other materials means that those other materials were not valid, Right. How do you know? How do you know that he just didn't want to burn them? Why would he just? Why would he burn them? I mean, why? Well, uh, why not? Because he wanted to be the author. It's man. So if if he, if he burned, no, it's still, it's still the same thing. Imagine it's how this sounds. Just all right. So just think with me for a second, brother. Think through this with me. Uthman 
burning Quranic material that's valid, but he burns them because he wants to be the author of the Quran and he wants to be the overseer and the commander of the transmission of the Quran. Does that not sound fishy for one person to have the, the motive? Okay, to, what if there was a mistake? In it? What if there was like one mistake in it and he's seen it? So that's why he burned every single one. So then that would mean that these Qurans that they had and these manuscripts of the Qurans that they had were not valid. And then, but then again, no, how who is he to decide what, okay. what's a mistake? Because he probably had, what if he had it memorized? He didn't. He had to, he had to get other people so to do he, it for how'd him. He, how'd he get the Quran then? How'd he get the, how'd he get the stuff? So he had to ask, he had to ha uh, ask Hafsa for her copy of the Quran, for them to get it from her. He didn't memorize it and just so, make a rewritten copy. He had to ask had, Hafsa. She had the Quran? She had, she, so had, she, had she, Quran. she had a version of the Quran. And, and, and even okay. she was hesitant to give it to him. Okay. So you see, it's a mess. It's a, it's a little like it's a fishy mess going on here. I didn't know. No, I just didn't know the story. I just heard it from another Christian. That's why I didn't know. Because uh, oh, you man. told me the good story. Yeah, yeah. I told you the good part. <laughs> but <laughs> you're a reasonable, you're a reasonable man, man. Thank you. You're too. a reasonable man. It's good idea. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. So going back to the main subject, okay is that we find the history of Jesus in the New Testament, which is where we get, you know, the historical information that we know about him. We don't get it from the Quran. We get it from the New Testament. And that's where the problem comes. Because obviously, when we look at the New Testament, Jesus did not line up with Islamic beliefs, obviously. Mm. And that's why I say he's not a Muslim, and it's impossible. Not because I'm simply a Christian who doesn't believe in Islam, no. Is because when I look at the historical evidence of Jesus, his beliefs and his practices are far from Islam. All right, but how about like, uh, is, is it accurate with the Old Testament? Absolutely. Even so even the even the, even, the Old Testament. even the Old Testament is far from Islam. No, I'm not saying it's so far, uh, far from it, but the Old Testament they don't believe in a Trinity. Yeah, do. Yeah. Wow. They believe that, look, in the Old Testament, I'm, I'm going to show you. In the Old Testament, you have Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 6. I know you're not going to remember these, but it is on my YouTube. So if you want to go back and check this out, I got you. Um, so you have Deuteronomy 32, verse 6, that says that God is our Father who created us. So that's the Father. You have Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, that says, For unto us a son is given, unto us a child is born, and upon him will be the, the, show, the, the government upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. Oh, right. Father of Eternity, come, Prince of Peace. How come, how come uh, the Judas, like, uh, they don't follow the Christianity? Though? Jews? Yeah. Some Jews do. They're called Messianic Jews. Okay, they're, not, they're, not, they're not the majority, but... Yeah. How come Jews don't, if it's New Testament, if it lines up? Like I said, some Jews do. But then you just have disbelieving Jews. Even the Quran because says the majority, that they're disbelievers. The majority don't. You, you, you think that they would be the ones since it's the Old Testament to the New Testament, but they're still following the old one? Oh, well, no, because their hearts are hard. Even the Quran, the, both the Quran and the Bible talk about the stubbornness and the hard-heartedness of the Jews. Bad, you know, with all these stories, you know. They, they have, you're right, they have no excuse to disbelieve. They have no excuse, but they do because they're rebellious and hard-hearted. The ones who do disbelieve. Don't be one of those. You're you're, you're just like them. You're, you're no you're no different than them right now. No, okay. I, I believe this. I believe the same thing about you. So, but I'm I'm follow. I'm doing exactly what the Quran tells me to do. I'm following oh, 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 oh. this. I'm following right, right. the scriptures. Still, still. The, the, the thing is, uh, whatever. Like, let's say you said uh, Prophet Muhammad was uh, proof. Prophet Muhammad wasn't a Christian. Uh, wasn't a Christian. Let's say I said that. Look, I'm saying like I'm, I'm saying. Let's say uh. I'm saying, oh. look, I'm just saying I'm doing everything the Quran tells me to do. I'm following well, I'm the scriptures. This and vice versa. The, only, the only reason why is because I'm, I'm the one trying to prove something. That's true. And it's impossible. Don't you see that? It's impossible. But yeah, but you can right, prove to me that. Can you prove to me that Jesus is God? I, I can, but that's what we call the Muslim shuffle. First, first, we need to focus on what the implications of this is. If this is impossible to prove that Jesus is a Muslim, and we can actually prove otherwise that he wasn't, this shows that the Quran is false for saying that Jesus believed in the God of Islam. 
He didn't. So that means the okay, Quran's false. I'm guessing you studied Islam and you read the Quran? Yes, sir. Okay, and you know uh, like the uh all the miracles about like what's called protecting the day of judgment and stuff like that? Uh-huh. Okay, so how is that false? Because the original message of Islam is false, period. It goes against okay, it goes against the previous scriptures. It goes against what Jesus and the prophets yeah, taught. I'm saying, but yeah, it uh, doesn't matter. But who you should, what if your scriptures? Aren't it does. True? It does. Do it does. It does. Real? Dude, it does matter. It it does matter. The Quran is false. So everything I mean, that, that that Muhammad teach, you throw it out the window. I, I'm saying the scripture is false. This this new scripture that was translated into the fourth century by Saint Jerome is false. Okay, so then that means that the Quran is false, then, right? No, I'm talking about the new scripture that was translated in the fourth century by Saint Jerome. Are you are you, it. are you are you holding are you holding that are you holding that uh, the Quran is true? The Quran is true. I'm not. This is not. This is not in the Quran. I know. I, I know. I know what you're saying. You're saying that this scripture that was translated in the fourth in the fourth century is false. No worries. You're saying that the Quran is true, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So if the Quran is true, and I understand, I understand the the Quran says the Bible and the Torah is the word of God, and we believe that it was at the one point. But I'm saying this was it's, uh, and I already explained to you why we think it's changed. You have to believe that it's the same even to today. They it. Another verse, another verse says they concealed the truth. The truth. That that doesn't so, mean that it's changed. Concealing and changing are two matter. different things. It's literally, bro. How are they going to conceal it when the book is? I I, I I already I literally gave you examples of this earlier already. No, I already you did that. Just, you said some. You literally said just. What is what, what is what is what does the word conceal mean? Let's do this again. What does conceal mean? To hide. There you go. So, if I put my oh, hand over, too. yes, if I put my hand over a scripture, hiding the text, am I concealing it? But how about the scriptures in the shop? They're not concealed. Yeah, exactly. So they concealed that. That has that contain the truth. It's it? not concealed. Do you understand? Hiding is not the talking? same as changing, my brother. Oh, Hiding no. and changing are dragons. two different dragons. things. All right, let's let's go with that. So the 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 Jews and the Christians have corrupted scripture. That's your point, right? Okay. All right. So let's 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 think through this. You believe that Allah is loving, just, and merciful. Right? Yes. Would would Allah, who is loving, just, and merciful, tell you to believe in corrupted scripture? Uh, I don't think he was talking about this scripture, though. I got you. Just follow me. Would he tell you to believe and follow corrupted scripture? No, I don't think he would. Got it. Good. I agree. Now, unless he was being deceitful and dishonest with us and misleading us on purpose, but... You said he's just and loving, and so he wouldn't do that. All right. But if you understand the Quran and you read the whole thing, you which is what you're supposed to do, you'd understand that you're not supposed to anymore. All right, we'll see. We'll see the if that's the whole point of it. The whole point of it. We'll see if we'll see if that's what the Quran didn't, teaches. Didn't you, talk, didn't you talk? Didn't you talk about earlier that uh the Quran says the Christians are the worst thing in this planet? The so one, I don't know the how you're say the, the, one, the, one, the ones who disbelieve, not the ones who believe. Specifically, the ones who disbelieve. So, no, no, so, here, says, so here's the point. Here's, everything the, here's the point. No, it says those who disbelieve among the Jews, the Christians, and the polytheists that they are the worst of creatures. Okay. Bro, you chasing dragons. You know, you know, you chasing. He dragons said, "I'm chasing dragons," but I'm I'm quoting the verse for like verbatim. Come on, man. All right. So look, so look, look, look. So Allah would, right? Allah would tell you. Hold on, hold on, bro. This is it's long, Quran, bro. dude. Can You're I talk? Dragons. Why are you interrupting me, man? Relax, let me let me get okay. it through. So Allah wouldn't tell us to follow corrupted and changed scripture. Got it. No worries. Let me ask you this now. Was the corrupt was was the previous scriptures, the Torah and the gospel, the Bible, was it corrupted before Muhammad's time or after? Um uh probably before probably before, after, during. I don't know. I don't know what to do with so. If you, had, if you had to make it, if you had to make an educated guess, by the time can, by the time Muhammad hopped on the scene, were the scriptures already corrupted? I can't tell you that, brother. Okay, so you believe that the Quran teaches that the scriptures are corrupted, right? Uh, I think it hits a hint at that. Yeah, 
Put so then up. that so then that would mean that they were corrupted before the Quran came down, right? I don't know because uh, there's a surah that talks about how the it talks about the uh, says uh, this book. There's a surah that says this book, right? But uh, but at the time at the time of the surah, it wasn't a book; it was just a piece of paper. So it was talking about future events. Don't make that face, bro. Come on, put a smile. Come on, brother. What you doing? I'm losing hope. That's what's happening. Brother, this doesn't make you right. This, this is this is my losing hope face and patience. Matter, so if we sit here and talk about the trendy, bro, it's going to go home. Yeah, you're direction. right. It's all over, right? It's all over. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it one last try. And then if not, then I got to move on. Uh, if the Quran says that the scriptures were corrupted, which it never does, but if I'm granting your well, position, you this, you, if it you, says you this, know, this is important. This is important. If it says this, then does that mean that would mean that the they were corrupted before Muhammad became a prophet, right? It doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that. So then, how can they already be corrupted then? If when the, how can the Quran be talking about something that's corrupted when it's not corrupted? No, it doesn't mean that they are presently do uh, corrupting it. Because you know when Muhammad revealed the uh, uh, got the revelations when I was talking about so we so we can't even we can't even we can't even answer whether or not the the scriptures were corrupted before Muhammad's time well, or can't. after, huh? That's amazing. I can't, I can't answer that. Okay. If it doesn't say, if it doesn't say one exactly, then how can I answer that? Well, it doesn't say it at all. But you're going with the position, no, so now you got to pick. It. It. It's so they can see the truth. Thanks for coming, man.